friend of one of the victims in a 2019 quadruple homicide makes a searing accusation on the stand today. David Winner has been reporting on the Gupreet Singh murder trial and has details on today's bombshell testimony. David. Yeah, Paula, the prosecution is painting a picture of a troubled immigrant family from India where the defendant, Gurpreet Singh, and his father-in-law, Hakika Panag, were having financial dealings, and those dealings were reaching a boiling point. Amrik Tawana says he met with his friend, a bruised and crying Hakikat Singh, two months before he and three members of his family were murdered. Did he tell you where the bruises had come from or how he got them? He got something, like he, he pushing him down, you know what I mean, like, he, like beat him with something, maybe a stick or something. So Hakikat told you that he was pushed down yeah. or beat? Yes. Did he say who had done that? Gurpit. Gurpreet Singh, the man accused of shooting in the head in April 2019, his wife, her parents, and her aunt. Amrik testified Hakikat told him Gurpreet beat him because he wanted from Hakikat proceeds from a $400,000 land sale in India. When you said he asked him to, I can't exactly right, to sell something to get money? Yes. The prosecution called Ajayb Singh to the stand. Two of the victims were his sisters. He said he spoke with one of them hours before she was murdered. Because I grew up with her, I could tell from her tone that she is scared for something. But upon cross-examination, the defense pointedly asked the witness about that phone call. She didn't say your breed is holding us hostage. No. Earlier in the day, the jury heard more testimony from witnesses who lived at the Lakeside at Westchester Apartments, one of whom said she had heard the gunshots, then heard a splash in the complex lake. Later, police would pull from that lake what they say is the murder weapon, a semi-automatic handgun. More testimony and witnesses tomorrow. Reporting live from Hamilton, David Winter, Local 12 News. Yes, David, this is week two of what is expected to be a three-week trial.